Oh, hey there, people. How the frig's it going today? It's almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm feeling like fucking smashed assholes. Or if better, I feel like a bag of smashed assholes. Maybe this will define it even better than that. I feel like a little worm on a big fucking hook. Yep, just feeling rougher than 40 grit. Yeah, I got under the beer a little bit too heavy last night. And uh, I'm paying for it today. It looks like we had uh, a bit of rain. I don't know if it was a thunder banger or not. But uh, we had some uh, downpours there. Everything outside is saturated. So no mowing the lawn today. But it needs to get cut. But I can't cut it when it's wet because it just bungs up underneath the mower sticks to the deck and then the blade gets choked up and well yeah pretty much writes itself right there so and I'm really not in any mood to go out in the garage and crawl around on the floor and remove the deck off the riding tractor so I think what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna take a rip over to Freshco and see about getting some of that chicken you know the chicken I'm talking about that deal they have let's see if they're still where's my phone well I found it on my computer anyway but it's this deal right here for pork tenderloin cryovac frozen it's uh, 288 pound chicken wings frozen 1.2 kilogram bag uh 1.2 kilograms about 2.2 well never mind it says right there equals a 2.88 pounds so you get like this little ziploc or whatever container full of chicken wings or one of these pork tenderloins which kind of looks like a tremor from the movie tremors like one of the tongues that would shoot out kind of scary looking but anyway yeah they got these on sale so i'm thinking about going to scoop up a couple dozen bags of those and then uh probably gonna do a barbecue chicken wings tonight for supper because uh, that sounds freaking amazing i know i said this week I was gonna work on stuff and because I was gonna work on stuff I probably shouldn't have hit the beer as hard as I did last night but I did hit the beer as hard as I did last night and today I am paying for it big times yeah it was funny last night after the stream I'm sitting there and I'm chatting with my buddy honk 2x4 uh, I, I mentioned him on the stream but I couldn't get his name out I forgot what his YouTube channel was so I was like I didn't want to name drop him like his IRL name so I was like well I just let it slide but uh, he was drinking the Fax 10 and I was on the bone shaker and he's like man tomorrow the beer shits are gonna be something fierce and I'm like oh I don't get those well by saying that I jinxed myself because I woke up at 8 o'clock with the biggest cramps ever went downstairs flooded the toilet went back to bed woke up at like 11 same problem blew up again wasn't barfing i was pooping i pooped four times today and none of it was liquid it was all solid so i don't know why i still have a food baby pretty sure i would have dropped all that in the toilet but i guess not never doing the bone shaker again well i got one bottle left and i refuse to waste it but i mean in the future never doing the bone shaker again because holy shit that stuff is just rough it's good but 7.1 percent is like yeah no no never again no like i don't even want to do it i just want to sit here all day watch sons of anarchy and do nothing but my mom has been bitching about me because she, she watches the or bitching to me because she, she's been watching the videos right and she sees that i still have a lot of the shit for the living room in the kitchen so she's like when are you gonna get the shit out of your kitchen put it back in the living room when are you gonna do this? You gotta do this. Is it done yet? How come it's not done yet? You gotta do this. So I guess I gotta do this, right? But it's cool I bitched back because I wanted to know where the compressor stuff was because Dad took my compressor and I got his compressor and I can't use his compressor because I don't have a hose. I don't have I don't have the hose. I don't have the quick connectors and I don't have any of the fucking like any of the tools that go on to the guy. And I thought that all came with the compressor. Mom's saying no, so uh, Dad's going to see about getting them. I think he said they have fittings at work or some nonsense. Sense. If not, I'll just have to go to Crappy Tire and buy the kit and then slap it on there and be done with it and then I'll have a little compressor. Can't really paint or anything with it, but I can use it for simple things like it'd probably drive an air ratchet maybe drive an air, uh, air chisel but yeah that's about it so like I said my plan for today is we're gonna hit up fresh co I don't even know how late they're open until today I should probably look into that let's see what they got for their opening hours store hours yeah I gotta look holy crap I wasn't aware of this fresh is open till 10 p.m. Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sundays they're open till 9 I was not aware of this I thought they ran the same as food basics where they're open till 9 and then they shut her down well that's exciting Alrighty, people. Good stretch. I'm gonna take a rip over to the grocery store, drag your asses with me. Oh, probably when we come back, we're gonna barbecue. I'm fucking hungry. I need food. My guts are like fucking hurting. But, um, yeah! Fun stuff. Kid stuff. Crazy stuff. I forgot to mention I did some weed whacking yesterday. Try and chop things down so it makes it easier to walk out to the car and dodge dog shit. Oh, this fucking yard. 
got to get that tractor working. I just don't feel like it today. What the fuck are you from? Well, anyway, let's get over to the uh, grocery store, get some chicken wings, come back and barbecue. Jesus, Murphy, after they're done paving that other road, they should fucking shimmy me down here and get this one did, too. This is fucking horrible. What it is is because there's a bunch of rocks underneath the road, and every winter the rocks push up, right? So, and they start piercing through the pavement, making it all bumpy and racked and cracked. And it's kind of fucked, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go get some freaking chicken. I'm gonna see what else they have too, but uh, chicken's the main priority. Oh, my fucking gut's doing somersaults. Just came out of the fresh go, got myself my chicken, got myself everything else. So let's go home. I'm gonna make a couple noodles. I'm fucking hungry. And I gotta let a bag of these fuckers thaw out before we throw them in the, on the barbecue. So uh, let's go. So here are the chicken wings. I'm guessing they came from Logie's area because Tilsonburg. That's probably where they're bagged, maybe. Or it's just the name of the company. I'm gonna leave those out. Actually, I'm gonna drop the bag in the sink. Leave those out. That's a sealed bag. Let them thaw. Put the other ones away. Also got some much not needed snacks and shit, so that can go straight upstairs. And I just put my cup of noodles in the uh, microwave there, so we're good to go. So I need to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do with the rest of this shit. Worry about that after we barbecue and eat. Maybe get her fucking head on straight or something. Turn down my head's not on straight. Hell, I still feel drunk. Alrighty, people, let's do ourselves a solid, go to the garage and make some chicken. Are you meowing? Scabbers? What's the matter, half cat? Oh, what's the matter, half cat? What's wrong? What's the matter? Oh, what's wrong, chicken wing? Hey, what's the matter? I get thin cat, I get thin cat, scampers is a fucking brat. I get thin cat, I get thin cat, meow 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 meow, I get thin cat. Alrighty, well, I just fired up the barbecue. And I want to turn the lights. Oh, fuck. Still feeling rough as shit, in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, still some work I want to get done back here. Like, get these tray chairs out of here and shit, and figure out what the fuck I'm going to do with this chair. I think I'm thinking about sitting in it tonight, though, to be honest with you. Holy fuck. So, I'll just wait for this thing here to heat up. Clean off the grill. Drop some chicken wings to it. Holy Jesus Murphy, that's a lot of chicken. Dinner's gonna be awesome tonight, people. I'm probably gonna have leftovers. Highly doubt it, but I'm probably gonna have leftovers. Oh, I'm trying a classic hangover remedy right now. And that's having a beer. Learned this one here from, uh, oh, what the freak show was that? Well, I can't even remember the name of the show, but um, I want to call it Snafu, but it's not Snafu. It's something else. Fubar, that's what it was. Fubar. Where Diener wakes up in the morning, he's all hung over, and he cracks the Pilsners and just fucking gets it into him, and then he feels great for the rest of the day. So, that's what's happening here. He up. See if it works. I did notice something weird with this camera. That basically, if I have it in the 60 megabit Sony AVC or whatever the hell they call it recording format, the uh, camera, when you turn it on, it takes about a good 10 15 seconds before she's ready to start shooting. But if I have it in the classic AVC HD mode, then the moment I open the lens, the camera's ready to shoot. Not sure what's going on with that nonsense. One thing I can tell you right now is I'll never shoot in the Sony mode again because sometimes you need your camera to shoot right away. Like you see something, you're like, holy crap, gotta get the camera out. So you crack the camera, and you're sitting there and you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. And by the time the camera's ready to film, the thing you wanted to film is already gone. That's just not acceptable. Try to look online to see exactly what causes this. Think I could find it? Nope. Nobody else is having this problem, apparently. Or, nobody else is shooting in that format. It is what it is. One thing I know for sure is, is I got the fucking sweats. Holy. It's not even a warm day out today. I'm just feeling turbo well. Probably because I drank too much last night and probably killed myself. But, me okay. Anyway, let's carry on with the, ki the, the kitchen cooking. No, the chicken cooking. Better. Oh, just rocking out some Tragically Hip while I burn the fuck out of some chicken, eh? Oh yeah, plug onto it. Look at that chicken. 
That's going to be delicious. Deliosius. Deliosius, yes. Deliosius. So wait just for the Deliosius chicken. But, uh, I gotta figure out some way to hang up whippersnappers. Because this is getting ridiculous. These things, like, the reason why the plastic bit up there is broken off of this one here is because it fell off. Like, it literally fell down and broke. And that's when Dad broke the choke switch on the carb. And he was, like, basically firing it by reaching in with, like, a screwdriver or a needle nose and flipping the choke. And he got fed up with the screw and bought a battery packed one because it's a compared to this one here acting the way it does. And this one here, well, it's also awkward as frig. There's no way to hang these things. Even if I did have room, which I kind of, sort of, don't. Well, mind you, I could hang them on the back wall behind this shelf, I guess. There's probably room back there. Or I could chuck them in the corner behind the mini bikes. Get them out of the way. Well, yeah, these things are the most awkward things to own and store. Friggin' weed whackers. Alrighty, well, I'm calling it. These are done. That's sunset, though. Jesus, Murphy. She's uh, a bright son of a whore. I like to call this Mount Bok Bok. Oh, shit, it's already freaking midnight. I'm gonna be up in like 10 hours. The dog just made a weird sound. Anyway, we should let the dog out. Jingle potty. I'm probably gonna close this up. There we go. I figured I'd let the dog out while he was out there. I grab all my laundry and bring it upstairs and put it away. All the dogs back in. So let's put some laundry away. Yup. All right. There we go. Everything's all said and done as far as laundry. 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 That's a new word. Anyway, I think I gotta poop again. Cause I had this urge to fart, but there's like a warning every time I try to push it out. So I'll bring it back. So before I shut this down, I just want to comment on this one thing that I came across today in the comments. That was this individual saying, please make more, or uh, please make more, or something like, why aren't you family friendly, or can you be more family friendly? And like, here's the comment right here. You can check that out for yourself, but uh, the comment that somebody else put on it was brilliant. They're like, his family is friendly. <laughs> but it's like, this is what bothers me about YouTube in general. People, like I've been doing my vlogs now for like 2008, I think this is 2018. So for like 2018 vlogs in, I haven't really changed anything. Just been doing my shit the way I've been doing it, you know? Yeah, I swear. Yeah, I drink. I used to smoke. Now I vape. I'm a medicinal marijuana patient, which means, legally, I can smoke marijuana and as long as I'm not operating any, like I can't sit there and fucking crank a joint and then jump in the car and go for a ride because that's still highly illegal. That's no different than people using uh, heavy narcotics like uh, Oxycontins or whatever it may be, uh, Percocets, so on and so forth, and then operating a vehicle. That's still against the law even though you have a prescript. But the prescription does say do not operate any heavy machinery or vehicles while under the influence of medication. So the same applies to marijuana. But you don't see me smoking dope on my channel because that's where I kind of draw the line. But vaping, you know, everybody smokes cigarettes, so I figure vaping frigate. You know, I've been doing that since day one. When I was smoking, I was smoking. Now I'm vaping, so I'm vaping, you know. I've been drinking on the channel since day one. Nothing's changed. And now they want me to go all fucking teletune? Really? Now you want me to come the friggin' family channel? Seriously, bud? Fucking TBS Superstation this shit? Are you for real right now? Well, this is the thing. People are allowed to be offended. That's what we do. We get offended. Thing is, is what offends me doesn't offend you. So, just because you're offended doesn't mean you have the right to try and alter it to make it so it's not offensive to you. What you can do, though, however, is just not watch offensive material that's too offensive for your little brain. So if you find what I do offensive, or what I say offensive, then don't watch. It's that fucking simple. I understand it's 2016, and in 2016, uh, for some reason this politically correct bullshit, where everybody has these government-funded safe spaces, because they get triggered, eh? Fuck. 
I tell you, man, society has just gone full on dumb. Like, really? You're triggered? You need a safe space? Are you fucking for real, bud? Oh my god, people are so stupid nowadays that it just fucking amazes me that we all still exist. Like, I think the biggest plague on this planet is fucking humanity and it's stupidity. So, whatever. But, um, yeah, so, ye who, who says I should be more family friendly, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. If you don't like it, by all means, you can do yourself a solid and fuck right off. Anyway, people, on that note, I'm shutting her down because I gotta go to bed in an hour and a half and then get up tomorrow and go to work. So, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, off Thursday. Yeah, I work three days, then I'm off one, and then I work six straight. And then I'm off too, so whatever. Anyway, shut her down. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment as always. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.